I bet some people are going to hate me for this episode. Greetings, it's Vagram, back again with another episode of Hot Blocks. Now this time I'm making a very controversial choice, but I'm standing by it. This might seem simple to everyone else. This block might seem completely just innocent and potentially even useless to so many folks, but I really do think that it is a great block. And without further ado, this episode of Hot Blocks is going to focus on the trash can. Yes, I know. The Trash Can by R.W. Tema in his Extra Utilities mod. Extra Utilities is jammed packed with a lot of things you're probably going to see in upcoming episode of Hot Blocks. But this one I find really, really important, really critical. It is extremely useful in its everyday usage. You can just stick it in a corner of the base, dump all your unneeded blocks, unneeded items, extraneous loot. You can use it as a dump point for your quarries to put your excess cobblestone in, whatever you want. It's versatile, it's flexible, and it's so often overlooked. And I'll tell you why. I see so many people go for the void chest in Railcraft as their source of item trashing. They need something that they can safely get rid of stuff in, so they use the void chest. Now, I'll actually show you the void chest. It's a part of Railcraft. It's a solid choice. It's really good. But early game, it's bad. Eight blocks of obsidian and an ender pearl. That's the last thing you want to crank out early game. This is a really good choice, specifically because the trash can is only three smooth stone, it's three, I'm sorry, five cobblestone, and eight planks of wood. That's it. Simple, streamlined, lots of early game resources. It's a simple solution that you can put in place immediately. Now, it is rather rootless in how it behaves. It does have an interface, and it's got one square. I think I have some blocks over here somewhere. Now... It's a very simple UI, and I have to admire for its simplicity. But you drop blocks in there, they're gone. That's it. If I shift click, they go away. Those blocks have disappeared into the ether. No more to be found. Now, some people have a problem with that. They, they like systems like the void chest gradually erases things, and it gives them a chance to go back and correct their problems. But that's okay, because I have some solutions for you. Now, these solutions do mean that it costs more resources, but I still think it's better than 8 obsidian and 1 enderpearl. Let me show you those right now. I'm going to grab some example blocks here. And I'm just going to get some garbage that I can get rid of. Now, in this one, this is a simple above-ground solution that uses actually a trapped chest. This is not an ordinary chest. This is a trapped chest. The trapped chest is very, very useful because if it's open, it puts out a redstone signal. That means that if I throw some dirt in, as long as I have that chest open, that dirt never goes anywhere. Now, if I close it and open it, you'll see two of them disappeared. I caught it before I lost those blocks. Now, if I still wanted to, I could close it and catch it right here, but... It's slowly being erased, slowly being deleted as it gets pumped into the trash can itself. And again, I have an emergency stop mechanism. It's a very nice, very elegant solution, I think, at a lower cost than some other options that exist in-game. Now, there's another one that's even simpler. This isn't even a redstone chest. It's not even a trap chest. This is an ordinary chest with a hopper underneath it, and the hopper is dumping straight down into a trash can. And I'll show you. There's a trash can right there. There's a hopper pointing into it. If I stand on this, the signal from the pressure plate actually locks the hopper. It prevents anything from going through it, which means as long as I stand on this, 
I can put anything I want in here, close it, look around. Oh, changing my mind, actually, I need that cobblestone. As soon as I back away, the hopper unlocks, and stuff starts erasing, and you can watch it erase. Well, I need that. I gotta get that dirt. That dirt's important. Oh, gosh. See? Stop the erasure mechanism. Very simple, very elegant. Now, I know this isn't a long episode, and there's going to be variable length hot blocks, just because some blocks are much more complex. But I have to say that I have admired R.W. Tema for putting something as simple as a trash can into Minecraft. It's something that I really think should be in the vanilla game, just like so many other things that are in extra utilities. It's a simple thing. It requires no technology, no magic, nothing. You want to throw something away. And you can even get it and turn it into safer alternatives if you so need to. If you're accidentally throwing things away on a regular basis, then you have a couple of solutions. Now, this one requires, as you can see, 25 wood planks, 6 iron ingots, 3 stone, 5 cobblestone. Now, that is 3 chests, one here, one here, and one here, as you can see. There's 5 iron ingots for the hopper. And there's one iron ingot to create a hook, tripwire hook, to make a trap chest. Now, if you want to expend a little bit more stone and a little bit less iron, you can actually go for this alternative. I kind of like this alternative anyway, because as long as I stand on this button, even if I open or close the chest, I'm safe and nothing gets erased. This is a surefire way to make sure you're deleting the right stuff. So, yeah. I think these are really good solutions, and I think the trash can is definitely worthy of consideration as a hot block. Goodbye.